All right, so today we're going to uh, continue with the Toyo 4x5 technical camera. Only this time, uh, what Mr. Wu is going to do is he's going to show us how you can use it in today's uh, photography so it's not obsolete. By that I mean using, being able to use current uh, day, uh, let's say for example, um, Hasselblad 907, C50 or 100 back to make this camera truly relevant today. So without further ado, uh, we'll have Mr. Wu come on and um, make sure you uh, like and subscribe, it's really important. I know you guys like this. All right, here we go. Here, Mr. Wu, what do we got here? Yeah, they have the same uh, Toyo that they have the other day. So this time what we do is that we're going to put the Hasselblad digital back on it at the back. So the front end is exactly the same, no change. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take out the ground glass holder, take it out. And uh, put in the Hasselblad plate over it in its place. So put in its place, close it, lock it. So now you are able to put the Hasselblad digital back in its place. So here I have a 907 and a CV. 250C. So I don't need the body portion. So I just take out the back. This the back. So it will go in here. Yeah, there it goes. Of course, I already put in the battery and the card. And in order to synchronize the shutter to the back, I got to this cable that goes from the flash thing and goes into the flash input at the rear of the camera. It's a bit tricky for me at this angle, yeah. Goes in, yeah. Goes into the flash in and the PC sync. So for viewing, I turn on the shutter, open up the shutter. Open up the shutter, open up the aperture, then turn on the camera on the back. And uh, activate the live view. Okay. So you've got the live view here. Do the focusing. Yeah, focus. Yeah. Then, in order to take a picture, I shut down the lens. Back. Set the aperture. Aperture. Cock the shutter and then make the exposure. Let's see whether the exposure is right. I got the... Oh, maybe I... Yeah, got it. So I got the image there. So you can magnify, you can see the detail. Oh, this is the yeah. This is the view. So this is the image. So of course, this sensor is this size. So it doesn't take the full four by five view. So you got it cropped in. If you want to get the uh, more angle of view, I have to put a shorter lens in front. This is 150 standard on 4x5. So on the digital back is like a telephoto, short telephoto. Yep. So you can also use the, let's see, turn back the live view. Turn back live view. Yeah. 
you want to get a vertical shot so we flip the rotating back turn the rotating back yeah so you got a vertical shot so this one you can always turn it around as and when you like as it, as it is required so you just flip it around yeah yeah so you got a traditional camera in front and the rear is a modern digital back so this doesn't go to waste. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. You think, uh, is it still popular? Yeah, there's some, I mean, the, usually for those who already own the 4x5 camera and they have a bag, so why not just get an adapter and put it on? So both doesn't go to waste. Well, there you go. Okay, that's excellent. There you go. Now everyone can see how this um, 4x5 for the enthusiast can still be relevant today. And as a hobbyist, it'd be a lot of fun. Um, so it's the flexibility for amateur photographers um, to do landscapes and product shoots. It'd be a lot of fun. All right, Mr. Wu, thank you very much. All right, bye-bye.